part. Pay attention to notation. D over dx of x squared. What you're going to do is you're going to take your exponent and you're going to bring it down. And what you do after that is you subtract 1 off your exponent. So 2 minus 1 equals 2x to the first, which means the derivative of x squared is 2x. Now we're going over to scalar. Scalar is nice and easy. You take your 2x and you always bring out your scalar and put it in front of your d over dx. And you keep leave your x there. And all you do is you use your quotient rule. Remember, there's a 1 here. So x minus 1, you bring it down just like that. And 1 times x to the 0 equals 1. So we got 2 times 1 equals 2. So the derivative of 2x is 2. Go over to constant. Constant is the easiest of them all. d over dx of 3. All you do is anything, any constant is 0. The derivative of 3 is 0. Now sum and difference. This gets a little more difficult. All you do is you break it up. You go d over dx of x plus d over dx of 4. Now that's constant, so that's 0. And x, that's all, co or that's all exponent. So you do 1 minus 1, and that equals 1. So 1 plus 0 equals 1. The derivative of x plus 4 is 1. Same over here. d over dx, x minus 7. All you do is you break it up. d over dx of x minus d over dx of 7. 0, this is still 1. So 1 minus 0 equals 1. The derivative equals 1.